Awesome. All right. Well, then, welcome, everybody, to Ruach Spoon Challenge 33 Show and Tell. Um, we just had a wonderful opportunity uh, to uh, have uh, listened to and, and interact with Dr. Fred Hawker. Uh, this is now the show and tell portion for Ruach Spoon Challenge 33, which is our Vasa Spoons Part 2 um, with two additional forms. So, with that, we're going to move right into it. Who would like to go first and show and talk about their spoon? All right, Oren, I will spotlight you for the group. Hey, hey everyone. Sorry, I, I'm going to have to leave soon because I'm at a family event here in, in Jerusalem. So I just hopped on to, to hear this, obviously, and, uh, and, and share. And uh, maybe I'll be able to just hear the rest uh, just through the earpiece. So um, last time... Uh, I did uh, a, a spoon that had uh, barnacles growing on it because I figured that makes sense, a spoon that you found uh, deep under the sea. So this time I made one that washed up on shore and I added a little uh, hermit crab nice. on, on, on the side growing on it because it's got a shell and it. this was obvious. I had to do this. Um, but uh, I am considering uh, making a couple more of these because I really like this shape. It, I think it's very similar to, to Barnes, yep. um, kind of typical uh, medieval shape. It's got a really nice uh, crank to it. it. It has a good depth of bullets. It's, it's a really nice overall spoon and I really like the proportions. I think this is a very comfortable spoon uh, actually for, for use. So I'm gonna do some without any any mollusks or anything climbing on it, um, and, and 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 try it out for a little bit as uh, as an actual spoon. I really like the the, the offer for us to do some uh, s some re actual research and try out. Uh, yeah, document spoons. your process, so, man. I, I sure will. I, I really am excited about this opportunity. This this is going to be a lot of fun. So this is made out of um, of laquat. I trying to stick to the same type of wood throughout all my uh, challenges. Uh, and it's a wood I like a lot. Um, and that's that's all I got to say. Awesome. Listen, I'm going to jump in here and take this opportunity to thank Oren, because as you may have noticed, we have posted up uh, Ruach Spoon Challenge 34, which is mm. the Mora Knife Sheath Challenge that at Oren's suggestion, uh, and he reached out to Anya to coordinate the we could glom on to her knife sheath challenge, which was a brilliant idea, very timely. A huge thank you to everybody who had been lined up to do spoon challenges, because I had to reach out to everybody and ask everybody to shift back by one. Um, but thank you, Oren, for the, the suggestion. It was a brilliant idea. And I also want to, in case you haven't seen, we're going to do a demo tomorrow. Uh, be aware, those of us in the US, we shift our clocks forward tonight at two, or tomorrow morning early at 2 AM. So it will only be a four hour time difference to the UK uh, and five hours to Sweden tomorrow. So it will be at 10 AM Eastern US time. We will do a demo with Anya Sundberg from Sweden uh, show. So it's all our, our, our Swedish weekend here uh, yeah. showing how she does her knife sheets. So I'm really excited. Thank you, Warren. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's that's going to be a fun one. Indeed. Cheers. All right. Who would like to go next? Wave a hand in the in your screen so that I can see you and I will spotlight you. Don't be shy. Nobody? All right, Kaylin, and then John. Okay, so I um, uh, took the opportunity to do the little swoopy one. I can't remember the number for the Vasa shape for this, but this is the resulting spoon that I did. And when we were on our last call, as I just mentioned, I really enjoyed them talking about people personalizing and doing a little bit of painting. Um, I was originally going to paint the entire handle, but then ended up just doing the small inset cuts here. So that's great cuts. But I think it turned out pretty fun. And this shape, I love it. And my larger bowl of Vasa from the last competition, that's my go to chili spoon. Like it's amazing just being able to eat off the one edge and have a good chili spoon. So this one I think is going to be 
my um, broth spoon now, but Kate from the last show and tell inspired me to do this one. So I was really excited that we had the template for this. And then this spoon had a maker's mark on it and it was essentially lines with small triangles at the end. And I didn't want to replicate the maker's mark exactly, but I took the maker's mark idea and did lines with little triangles at the end, just with my K initial. So this one's now a spoon that's going to stay with me instead of a gift, <laughs> but it is a fun shape. And I also think I'll make some more of these because they're, they're really quite a neat thing, but I did split because this is curly maple and as i was axing i had like two blanks that failed on me which i haven't had in ages just split half of the bowl right off because of the curly wood so it was a good Ouch. that's that's good. things yeah. <laughs> but it nice. was a good exercise and patience in getting a spoon that um that is a beautiful well. spoon you did a fantastic job Thank you. It's fun. I'm really excited and I'm stoked. So let us know when we can do the photos and stuff because I will make another spoon and happy Listen. to document, happy to take more pictures. This has been a really neat like way to dive into history and it's it's a fun one. Thank you for bringing another Vasa challenge forward. Absolutely. My, my recommendation was we, we already know that this is something that, uh, you know, Fred has expressed interest in. I would say don't hold back. Just go ahead and jump dive right into it. Document, as he said, he wants high quality, uh, well-lit photographs, high resolution. So uh, take pictures of your process, uh, you know, uh, write your observations of both the process of carving it, as well as your experience in using the spoons. Uh, I will probably act as the focal point. Everybody could send all your spoons to me. <laughs> and then I will for I will package them up and ship them off. <laughs> wink, wink, uh, to the Boston Museum of Sweden. No, I really will, honestly. <laughs> this is not my bid to expand my spoon collection. <laughs> we can, we can but, add uh, it. Yeah, I would say just dive on it. We can add a That's right. max gift in there of another spoon for you. <laughs> I would not, I, I would be more than willing to accept it, but do not feel <laughs> obligated to do that. <laughs> My wife is already ready to throw me out of the house because I were overrun with spoons, but I'm more than happy to take more. Um, anyway, so with that, who would like to go next? Thank you, Kaylin. Wonderful job. Anybody, anybody else want to share their Vasa Spoon Challenge 33 uh, Ruex with John? That's right, you said next. Sorry, let me uh, spotlight you. Yeah, I did uh, both of them, the little roundy one, but the piece of wood I had was really carved, so I ended up more like a... a like a little ladle, nice. Ladle. But it's, it's got the right shape, but it's really twisting. The grain goes all over the place. There it goes. It's, I love it. Yeah, it just... The other one's quite plain. I made it slightly longer. It's got the hook on it. A, nope. But it was yep, super flat. No, no crank in that one, right? Nothing at all. Yep. It's funny in, in the, the diagram, it's it's like dead flat. It's yeah. yeah. And it's ash with a little bit of food color in it to try and get the grain to highlight. But yeah, Wonderful. It's, it's more of it's probably more class a seven spoon that one, but you probably could eat from it, so it's not too. But yeah, yep. two finds a big eating spoon. But no, that was my two that I managed this time. Excellent. Great job, John. Thanks. All right, let me drop back out to the gallery view. Who would like to go next? Wave a hand. All right, Matt. Let me spotlight you real quick. Okay. Yeah. I so want... once again, by the way, I know Stephanie is already drawing. Uh, uh, huge thank you. Anyway, what I wanted to say was huge thank you to Matt for organizing and putting together and having the idea for our original. I'm, I'm so happy that you put us in touch with Stephanie and thank you to Stephanie for all of her time and effort and for now expanding that uh, experience out to uh, 
you know, the museum directly and, and via uh, Fred Hawker uh, to get to do some of this experimental archaeology that we're going to get to have fun with. So I know it's it's wild. And, and, I, and I just I can't believe the confluence of people and ideas, you know, that we have here. And, you know, so anyway, cool. yeah, yeah. Um, but so it, it's funny, the last time we talked about these spoons, um, you know, I, I kind of said, you know, there are some not so hot spoons in the catalog, you know, and, and I said, and I said, like some of them, there, there's an object, there are objectively bad spoons. And like, this is the one that I had in mind when I said that, you know, because of that, because of that complete absence of crank. Um, but, but, you know, but now like, you know, looking at the template and also looking at the photographs of this, this artifact in the collection, you know, the, 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 the spoon was in really good condition as recovered. And and it's and it's it's kind of refined and I and I feel a little like I well I have to recant what I said obviously you know because <laughs> not only I mean not only is it you know it's 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 a pretty smoothly finished spoon you know it's all the all the planes and surfaces and bevels and you know it's 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 nicely done um, it's uh it, it's and my mine's not complete you know I still got the pencil lines on there but that I'm trying to go for as close as I can get to the you know the, the shape cool. and it's still in process but. But it, I, I think that that spoon is is painted all over, um, and the catalog says red and maybe brown. Um, but uh, but the, the inside of the bowl is painted, you know, and there's traces of paint that you could see around the hook. But what 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 Fred just told us is this was worn on the outside of someone's clothing, um, tucked up under their belt and held in place by that hook. Um, so this the, so this is like a flash spoon. Um, so anyway, I I had to rethink everything that I thought about this thing and. Um, and I guess that's the point of all this. But anyway, so that's the thing. This is just this is just a sweet birch. Um, I think Fred was actually saying that they don't wear a belt, right? Because they they actually oh. it was somebody else who would suggest I forget who suggested that as a possibility. But he was saying um, they actually don't wear a belt. So I don't think that that's really I, where it ended up. But I'm glad you straightened me out because that would have been an, a major fashion faux pas. Because I would have started <laughs> doing that. I would have jam this thing up under my belt you know hey, listen you know what if we could have number nine spoon cheese hanging <laughs> off of people we could you could start a new trend this is yep. the new the new number nine there's no shame <laughs> on having a spoon hanging off your belt all the time indeed no, no yep. it's the respect of colleagues and friends everywhere absolutely indeed. okay anyway that's me thanks awesome thank you matt thank you so much for all of this fantastic job all right who would like to go next all right, Michael. And I have to say, I think it's a, a really a special thank you to Michael because I believe you were the next one in line for our spoon challenge that, that got pushed back. So, well, so, uh, well Chuck, I, th I think you made the right move. I mean, for me to have my spoon challenge go live on April Fool's Day, I mean, that's just <laughs> brilliant. So, that's too funny. I, th I, think we're, I think we're good there. Um, but but yeah, anyways, I, so I did uh, I did one of each. Um, this is Madrone, you know, just you know, I love the uh, you're putting that swoopy shape in it. You know, yep. maybe not quite, you know, not not. You know, the handle did look kind of rounded to me. I didn't spend a huge amount of time with it, but um, you know, just lots of fun doing that. Um, and then you know, I did the other one as well. This one, it's some of the sycamore maple that that you know we got from down the street. You know, a little bit of nice. sort of spalting colors showing up there, but. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, you know, this one, you know, I sort of like what Matt was saying. Um, you're kind of looking at it, going, "Well, okay," but you know, um, you know, like when I finished it up and brought it in, my wife was like, "Oh, that's actually really pretty cute." Um, I did make the handle a little bit longer. Um, it's sort of the hook is a little bit different, but um, yeah, no, I mean, they're just both both really fun to work on. So, awesome, great job! I really like the swoopy one. Really, yeah. really nice. I agree with everybody else that, that said that I love that shape. I've always been enamored with it. It reminds me a lot uh, in, in from top view looking down of Barnes fig shape. And uh, I just, I, I think it's a great shape. It's a useful shape. I've got several spoons in that style. Yeah, and I like it a lot. Somewhat, somewhat reminiscent of the call spoon. Yeah, yeah, if, you, if you're doing it, you can, I, I, there's just a lot, lot that you can do with that very basic form. Yeah. And yeah. uh, it's really cool. All right. Thanks, Michael. Oh, and so um, I, 
I did, in fact, we, we not only did we bump Michael once, we bumped him twice because we inserted Vasa and then we inserted uh, Anya's uh, spoon sheet, uh, the knife sheet challenge. That's so, okay. uh, it's, thank you. It's totally fine. Everybody got shoved back. <laughs> All right. Who would like to go next? Wave a hand. Anybody else out there have a spoon that they want to show? All right, Jody. Gonna spotlight ya. All right, I did. Um, what was the number? It was the same one that Kaylin had. Um, two zero four one four, and I made the handle a little bit longer, and um, added a couple facets. But I think that came out nice. I like the crank on it, and. I used, um, I did some knife cuts and used uh, ground cloves to kind nice. of get yep. into the cracks. So. Very nice. And what I kind like of wood did you say? Cherry. Cherry, yeah, that's what I thought. Looks great. Beautiful job. That was really I like fun. The facets. I like the facets on the handle a lot, actually. Thank you. Thanks, yeah, I think. I think it um, looks a little bit more balanced with the longer handle. I know it's not exactly. Yeah. Eat it, but. I agree. It was, really, I tend to, it was I fun tend to work on. Long handles. It was fun to work on, and just getting like this little dip in here was something yeah. that I like focusing on because that was a little bit new. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks. Nice job. All right. I'm back out to the gallery. Who else has a spoon that they would like to share? Anybody? Anybody at all? If not, then we're going to end our show and tell portion. Don. All right, Don. So as typical, I, I started mine this morning. Uh, then I had to run out in the middle of things and go grocery shopping because it's snowing like mad here. My wife didn't want to go. Um, so I, I kind of did the the swoopy one. Okay. Interesting how much crank is in yeah. this. Um, and I did it from a radial piece of wood. And uh, this is only 30 minutes in at this point. But I, I you can't see, it, but there's actually a crack now running through through the bulb. Oh, no. So I think this is one that would really benefit greatly from having a nice bit of bent wood but it is a lovely form it's really kind of coming along nicely um and i agree it's it is very reminiscent you know in the plan view of uh medieval spoons but I, i'm definitely going to make a few more of these i, I kind of like the shape overall but it, that that crank is just astounding so um yeah i need to have a better piece of wood than this vaulted birch yeah so very nice. Well, when you make more, make sure you document your process. Be, be part of our experimental archaeology. Ruach is on the forefront, the cutting edge of experimental archaeology now. And, and I'll volunteer to take the spoons to Sweden because I am going back this summer. Oh, awesome. Great. Ship them all to Don then. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All That's right. Let me jump back out to the gallery. All right, who else has a spoon that they would like to share? Wave your hands. Do a little dance. All right, Jasmine, awesome. Let me spotlight you real quick. Say something, Jasmine. You there? Oops. Oh, was Jasmine? Jasmine is muted. I, I guess I, maybe I misunderstood. I thought she was wa maybe she was waving goodbye. I don't know. Okay, anybody else out there who has a spoon that they would like to share and show? Jasmine, are you back? Were you waving your hand before to show a spoon? You're muted. So oh, yes. <laughs> okay, let me spot um, you. There you go. Yeah. So I did. Um, this two 
uh, I don't know if you see it. It's like too much light here. No? That's okay. Maybe. So, so I uh, finished this one just uh, um, uh, during the last recording. <laughs> I made the um, uh, the marks here. The, and I turned out a little bit cranky. I think it's, it has too much crank. And yeah, but it's uh, it was fun to exaggerate a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And well, maybe I won't soon. use it for, for soup or something. I think it will be a good coffee scoop with a large um, like bowl. And yeah. take it out for, yeah. Excellent. And I'm frozen. Come on. You might be frozen, Chuck, but we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. I was sitting, I was just gonna, I was typing into the chat that I'm frozen. Um, no, you're not frozen. Jasmine is frozen. Okay, well, I, th I think well, I froze as well there for a, for a minute. You're back. So, uh, all right, I'll drop back out to the gallery. Here that has a spoon that they would like to show. Anybody at all, wave a hand in the camera so I know, so I can see you. If not, we're done. All right, Linda. Okay, I don't, I haven't been making any of the spoons you guys have because I didn't know they had numbers and I didn't know I had to make them the numbered ones. But I've been playing with some wood somebody gave me and I've been making some of these little spoons, little spoons, like oh, a, whole okay. bunch, a whole bunch of little spoons. <laughs> and then one of my friends and many of you know him, Grant Lauer challenged me to make yep. a small spoon. So, okay, this is one size. This is the next size. Okay. Nice. No, no, no. Then I went even smaller. <laughs> and yes, there's a bowl in there. Silver it's spoon. been carved and stuff. And while I've been waiting, talking to you, listening to you guys, and this, this is really interesting because I don't get up, I don't get on to your um, event that often. So to be on when you guys did the VASA, it was very interesting and stuff. Um, and I made a small, okay, it looks like a pipe, but it's, it is a spoon. It's got <laughs> crank guys, you know, it, it's, you know, when, when you want to pay attention, to what's going on but you don't want to get really involved in making a big spoon um you work with little things so see now I, i'm the opposite if i work on something that tiny i'd be slicing my fingers left and right <laughs> well well i got news for you the, the 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 first one that he challenged me on um yeah it was like it was bigger the, yeah. the piece of wood was bigger and then yeah. i carved the spoon out of it but you know you get to a point and it's like how do you hold this to carve this little yep. area yep. but yeah especially because it still requires enough force to sever the like to, to slice the wood fibers so yeah, yeah. And All right. nice job so then, so then i got into using scalpels on there you things. go yeah <laughs> so excellent great job linda good to see you glad you yeah. joined us all right. Does anybody else have a spoon that they want to show for our Ruax Spoon Challenge 33? Going once. Ah, Alistair. Oh, well, you've seen, you've seen my spoon all, already, but I just wanted to say hi to Don. Hello, Mr. Dirk. It's very good to see you. Yeah, long time no see. Are you coming to Spoon Fest? I am planning on it. Good. I'll, I'll see, see you there. there. Yeah. All right. Well, show us your spoon again, just for the, the show and tell portion of it. That's a fantastic spoon. You did a great job. This the band said it's um, the original, one of his all-time favorite spoons. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. I can see. I, I'm wondering, did he? I wonder, did he base? What did he base his fig-shaped spoon on? Was it well, on, on a medieval spoon from? Okay. I think possibly the British Museum. Okay. Because he he wouldn't have seen the Vasa. I mean, I went in 2014. He was in Sweden then. We went to uh, Redfest. Interesting. And um, I don't think he'd. I I went to the Vasa then, but he he hadn't been then. So, okay. Because um, it amazes me in top view how similar the shapes are. Yeah, you know? yeah it's nothing new, is there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the original wooden spoon? Where's the first? I want to find it. <laughs> well, um, I went to see a, a Roman spoon in Carlisle. Really? Yeah, and I mean, it's it was found in a moat, and they think it's either older or... or um, Hazel. Wow. And what kind of shape is it? It's more like a scoop. It's turned and then hollowed with a um okay. with a spoon gouge. And they didn't find any tools, so they think that it was probably imported from France. Wow. Because I know a lot the British Museum has a whole load of, of um tools that you would recognize that, that are Roman. Yeah. And uh, they do. They did have spoon gouges. They were called that. Is that the oldest? I wonder what the oldest actual artifact spoon is in existence in the world. Doc, mm -hmm. like documented, like in a museum somewhere. Well, you know? wood, do you mean a wooden one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the trouble with wood is it doesn't keep, does it? Exactly. Unless you've got an unusual situation like Vasa, where there was yeah. so little oxygen in the water, it didn't degrade. And and if you look at the spoons in the museum next door at Nordiska, the most of the ones there were presentation spoons, so they've never been used. Okay. So they're not necessarily representative of what people right. have had. So it's very rare. Exactly. Like if you have, if if you saw one there in the UK that was Roman, that's probably pretty darn far back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nearly two thousand years. So that's it's, incredible. It's, yeah, it's quite impressive. But they did. They, they'd also got some little turn boxes. There's a pill box made from boxwood, and it looked new. Wow. With a little lid on it. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, and they've got a a, um, a baker's peel, like this, you know, three foot long, which is in two bits, but it's you know it's all there. It's a a what a baker's what peel, you know, the wooden thing for moving the loaves around in the ah in the, in the okay, yeah, yeah 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 very cool yeah interesting. All right, well, thank you for sharing. Let yeah. me. Uh, jump back out to the gallery did anybody else have a spoon for this challenge that they would like to show hey matthews all right let me spotlight you hello oh. okay so i'm not too late i just i was up in my out of the city garden preparing some beautiful alder wood nice but i'm here and i can show you my spoon Beautiful. So this is this this template. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was uh, very flat. Yeah. So you've had a print. Hook, but uh, if there was a split here, and I left it. I like it. Yeah, because yeah, I like it. <laughs> so it's it, it's looking like that right now. What so kind of wood? This is sumac. Ah, okay. Sumac wood. Gorgeous. Yeah, so this is my Vasa spoon for this challenge. Only one. Very nice. Yeah, but very nice. nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Well done, Matthews. Wow. All right. Drop back out. Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Three times we're done. All right, folks, this has been our Ruax Spoon Challenge 33 show and tell. Um, for those of you that were on early, you got to uh, sit in with uh, us uh, talking with Dr. Fred Hawker at the Va Vasa Museum. This has been fabulous. Um, 
Don't forget to check out our next challenge, Ruax Spoon Challenge 34, Knife Sheaf, with, um, based on the Knife Sheaf Challenge by Anya Sundberg in Sweden. And we will be doing a demo tomorrow morning, East Coast time, 10 a.m. Um, so don't forget to sign in for that. And uh, with that, I'm going to bid everybody a fond farewell on the recording. Cheers, everyone.